it is good to be back. Now I've got a lot of stuff planned at the moment. The first thing that I have planned is I've signed up to do another half marathon middle of August. So why did I sign up to do this particular one? It is the Isle of Man half marathon. It's one of my favorite races. I got my previous half marathon personal best there last year. Um, it's just one of the prettiest courses and the half marathon itself is one of my favorite race distances because it's the perfect amount of challenge for my current ability level. Now, I did the Brighton half marathon two months ago and I put up a video to say what my plan was for that day. So sorry I haven't actually followed up on that, but I will do. I've got all the footage, I just need to put it together and just speak a little bit about it. But on the day, I ran a fantastic race. Like, way better than I was expecting. It was really, really good. Um, I ran an hour 47. Now, not a personal best, and it's not in my top three, but it was way better than I was expecting. I was just hoping for a sub two hour half marathon, and this came in way better than I was expecting, even though the conditions were really, really cold. It was brutal. That, in addition to the fact that I hadn't trained for about four months before that, because I was on Isotret's Noen. Now, if you wanna see my full breakdown and um, the effects that that had, go check out my previous video. I'll put a card up somewhere. Um, but in short, what that did, what Isotret Noen did, is it just made all my joints hurt. It made my tendons stiff. It made everything sort of ache and pains. Uh, they would just carry on for a lot longer. My recoveries were the most affected. I would get stiff after a hard run and sort of the doms wise um, and it just wouldn't ever go away it would take two three weeks and i'd still have the same delayed onset muscle soreness um, and that was just brutal so i stopped training for four months then i ran the brighton half marathon and got a fantastic time even though i hadn't trained now i am medication free which is the biggest plus that i could ever think of and i've signed up to do a marathon half marathon and i'm super motivated to get a personal best so, what I'm doing is I have made myself a 14 week training plan. I am going to make sort of a, a training video once per week. Um, this is week one, obviously. Um, so what did I do? What did I do week one? Um, I am trying to be super strict with um, how I'm starting this training plan, okay? Um, I don't wanna jump in too much too soon. I think that's one of the most common things that runners do and then they get injured. And I really don't wanna fall into the same pitfall that they did. So I'm starting slower than what I would do prior to the four months before I stopped training. So I'm taking it slow. I've done two five kilometer runs. I've tried to be really strict with sticking in zone two. So my heart rate isn't allowed to go above, I think it's about 142. If it goes above 142, my watch beeps at me, I take a small walk, then my heart rate comes back down, and then I start to sort of jog again after that, once I'm back in that zone two range. And all I'm doing this for is just to stay slow, stay controlled, stay um, injury free. That's the main point of this. And I think that's going well. I feel good. The, the medication since that stopped has made me sort of feel much more capable in myself. Um, I've done the two runs, felt good. Um, a tip that I came across while doing this was if you focus on just breathing through your nose, it feels harder, but because you feel like you can't breathe enough, you slow down. And then if you continuously breathe through your nose, then you stick in zone two because you're running slower, because you feel like you can't breathe as much, but you can. Um, so that was a really good thing. So I was running quite a lot just through my nose, just to stay slower, stay calm, stay collected. So I've done two runs, they were both in zone two, super easy, super nice, uh, planning to do some other stuff soon, but of course I always end every run taking an electrolyte, sitting in the garden, in the sun, updating my, uh, my Garmin app so that Strava can have all the data. Um, and these high five tropical electrolytes, by far the favorite, these are the best flavor that they've had. I've tried quite a few. I've tried six or seven of the different flavors. These are the best. These are 100% the best. So, um, this was week one. I've got 14 weeks planned, plus some other stuff. So if you wanna keep up to date with what I'm doing, my 14 week training plan, uh, hit subscribe. I'm gonna be doing this once a week, if not more, um, until race day. I'd love to see you in the comments and I'll check you in the next one. Bye.